this place is. Hello, and welcome to Let's Talk Spoop. I'm your host, Don, and today I've got a very special film for you called Amityville Vampire, which is free on Vudu. Uh, little backstory, the reason that I decided to watch this movie is I was having a conversation with Jeremiah, and he informed me that something like five Amityville movies have come out in the last two years, and I was blown away by this because I had thought, and it's kind of a point of pride for me, but I had thought that I'd seen every single Amityville movie. So I thought I'd start to rectify that. And I started with this absolute gem that is Amityville Vampire. So anyway, as per usual on Let's Talk Spoop, we break things down into six separate categories. Those six separate categories are story, acting, music, atmosphere, look, and creep. So, uh... Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into Amityville Vampire. So, uh, it opens with a cleaning crew cleaning the Amityville house and, like, alluding to where it was or or where they are. Um, It has a flashback. It's actually not badly filmed of uh, the the DeFeo murders that happened inside the Amityville house. And then one of the members of the cleaning, cleaning crew is cleaning the wall and she finds blood on the wall and then somehow gets it in her mouth and becomes a vampire. Yeah. And then she runs off into the woods. And then we get this terrible, per- I, I assume, purposefully unwoke scene where this guy and this girl are in the woods. And the dude's trying to bang the chick and the chick's not going for it. So he just leaves her there. Um... And then she gets attacked by the vampire. Uh, And then we get a scene with two guys talking where I just assume they were too lazy to name one of the characters in this scene uh, because he's only got this one part. And they just keep calling each other dude and bro and various other terms like that to uh, not have to name the character. Uh, Um. You find out that Johnny the Gent, who used to be a DJ, is going to propose to his wife or fiance Franny, uh, and he's going to do it at Red Moon Lake for some reason. And Red Moon Lake is apparently the place where the vampire was. So then they go on a drive. Um, they drive for a while to keep it interesting. He tells her stories about why it's named Red Moon Lake, uh, which are. <laughs> borderline one of them's borderline softcore porn which was a little disappointing because it wasn't softcore porn um but yeah then there's some boobs old lady boobs uh and that's really that's really about it um so aside from the fact that they decided to make the vampire girl apparently lilith um, which I always enjoy when movies play with the Lilith mythos. Uh, the story in this movie is not impressive. Uh, and aside from the opening scene, has nothing to do with the Amityville house. So, two out of five, first story. Uh, acting is... <sighs> my notes say, I don't think mediocre covers it. And I think that sums it up really well. One out of five for acting uh music surprisingly not bad uh three out of five i actually thought the music was pretty good three out of five um atmosphere uh wow so while i was watching this movie i got two phone calls because i watched this movie like the day after my birthday and my brother and sister forgot to call me on my birthday because they don't love me um so they called me the day after while I was watching this movie and the movie is so non-engaging that I didn't want to finish it after taking those phone calls. Uh but I did. I did it for you, my fans. That is how committed I am to watching movies for you, 
So you will never have to watch this absolute abomination of a film. Uh, uh, look, uh, so atmosphere is one out of five. Look, um, is laughably bad. Uh, there's 90s style demon knights is kind of what they did with the vampires, which you would kind of appreciate if one for the fact that they even managed to do that badly. Um, there was a scene that was so bad. It made me laugh out loud where this one guy gets disemboweled, but they didn't want to, they couldn't show us him getting disemboweled. Cause they don't think that their special effects budgets would have covered it. So instead we see like his upper torso and then they throw the fake entrails onto his face. <laughs> and it made me lol. But other than that, it's bad. It's one out of five for look. And then creep. If you can't tell from everything else I've said about this movie, uh, it is not creepy. It is not scary. It is horrible. So one out of five for creep. I honestly think that this, I may have disliked this more than beware the melon heads it's so bad it's not like it's not so bad it's good like boa versus python and it's not like self-aware bad like piranaconda which if you like self-aware bad movies like piranaconda is probably a movie for you which i've reviewed before if you haven't seen it go check it out uh but this movie is just bad so you tally up these scores you get a 1.5 out of five skulls for Amityville Vampire on Voodoo.